how to be in a relationship with somebody who is avoidant, attached. Disclaimer alert! Disclaimer alert! Please pause the video and read the disclaimer. These people are the people who values physical things over relationships. So the parents of the avoidant child is the parent that dismisses the child. They quickly learn, the child learns quickly that there is no point having needs and desires because they are not allowed. These are the parents, the kids who are told you're in a private school, you play whatever sport you want, you live this. I am not available as your mother or father because I am providing all this for you this home, this car, this private school, this and this. I can't do all that and have all this. So you have to learn to compromise. So these kids quickly learn that, okay, I can't have needs. I can't want cuddles. I can't want time. I can't want this and this if I want this and this as well. So they learn to be excellent at sports. They learn to be good. They are people who put more attention on the physical. You know, if it's a guy, he's got six packs. If it's a woman, they do plastic surgery. They pay thousands of dollars. So it's all focused on thousands of dollars or money, whatever money is in your country, currency, to look good on the outside. Which is sad because kids need support, right? Kids need love, they need to be cuddled, they need to help processing their emotions, they need help learning how to soothe uh, themselves. And since they don't get that help, that support, that cuddles, that emotional and psychological help and support that other kids get, they quickly just give up on relationships. They're like, there's no point me wanting to be cuddled or spoken to or help reprocessing things. I just gonna give up on relationships and I'm going to focus on what my parents want me to focus on. Because if I'm good at school, I get my parents' attention. If I am a great sports player, I get my parents' attention. If I look good, then my parent will say, you know those parents who say, my kid is so good looking. Those parents who focus on the outside of the child more than what, more than the whole child. Because, I mean, think about it. What's the point of speaking about your feelings if you're just going to be told to stop or if you're just going to be ignored or if you're just going to be called emotional? If somebody's just going to say, hi, hey, you're just emotional. Your parents are like, stop. You know, that's irrational. Don't be so emotional. Uh, you're just, I have a cousin who was told by his dad, you're just a bunch of feelings. Everything is feelings. Just work. Do the work. Stop being a bunch of feelings. And... I look at him today, he works for the hogs, he's a lawyer and stuff like that, and he is unavailable, even for his kids, right? He's gone because that idea of feelings and needs are not important focus on having a good house, a good job, a good looking wife. Kids who go to private schools just providing the physical and forgetting about anything else that they need. Now, being in a relationship with a person who's avoidant might feel like you are chasing them all the time. They want their anatomy, they want to be alone, they want to focus, they want to think, they want to work. And you are like, hug me, talk to me, ask me how I'm feeling. I want to know how you're feeling. Let's do this together. Let's just be in the moment. And they like can't stand it, right? It's they avoid conflict, they avoid emotion, they avoid anything that's not physical. They'll come to you if they want to have sexual relations, but other than that, get lost. They can't stand it. So it's difficult to be in a relationship with somebody who is avoidant. These type of people are normally associated with a narcissistic kind of personality. It's all about how things are perceived. Right. What are people going to see? What are they going to think? And how do they see me? 
all right it's that emotionally being unavailable kind of thing but it i'm not saying they're narcissist because it there's an addition to that cold distant oblivious unavailable attend persona so you know if you have been diagnosed narcissist you might also see some of these tendencies in yourself they also have inflexible thinking right they're very rigid it's like um, in psychology it's called cemented way of thinking right cemented thinking is like if i say this is how it has to be then it has to be that way anybody else who challenges that they will get the wrath of that person who's a avoidant slash narcissist they're also very argumentative everything is a fight with them they know better they do better and you have to listen to them they will if you look at my um video of a of a healthy relationships i told you about a guy who exhausted his wife into get, not getting a vaccine right they will exhaust you that way you might say hey listen i don't want to play golf today i'm going to play golf and my partner will come and say why don't you want to play golf i said well, i just don't feel like it to them that's not a good enough reason you have to be because it should be should woulda kind of like the things are supposed to be a certain way and if they're not then they will argue and exhaust you until you give in they are also very defensive they're not open to learning and growing um that's kind of humiliation for them and then they insist that they're right you know those people who always want to be right i told you i told you about this i told you this is what's going to happen in this life but it's almost as if they expect a, a level of perfection that is unrealistic as well right don't get involved with this person if the relationship doesn't work out is because i told you not to get involved it's not that relationships don't work out or people just grow or people want different things in life is i told you don't do it and you did it now look they can also have ocd you know obsessive compulsive disorder um anxiety they have high levels of uh anxiety um they also have weight issues either anorexia or bulimia in a sense that you know something's they have to control everything right everything to them is about control it's either they only eat certain things or and those certain things can be healthy or unhealthy you know they could do eat unhealthy things but because they're expensive and all the high caliber they'll eat them then they get weight or they don't eat anything because you know um they cannot have an ounce of fat on them or anything like that right and schizoids also is one of those things that they they have been diagnosed with right so narcissistic tendencies plus all these other diagnoses you might find that the, those people have um are diagnosed with either or one or two more of these things right so getting in a relationship with an avoidant person modeling healthy way of being you know making sure that you're not dragged into that and being and having set boundaries on um actually calling them out and saying hey listen i said no i said i'm going to get a vaccine and now you are exhausting me into not getting it right S -s gently calmly say i said this is what i'm doing and why i'm doing it i don't want to go play golf i am going to play golf but i don't want to play golf if my partner says why i say I don't want to cuz I've had times where I just I don't feel like it and it's okay right and if they try to exhaust why uh do you need this let's talk about this why do you think you don't need to have no cuz sometimes people just don't feel like doing things right so being a healthy set healthy boundaries and then calling them out is how you can um uh, be in relation with a avoidant 
attached person and also have expectations right like if they don't want to do things you know say figure out ways on how to share responsibilities or how you relate with each other as partners and then have those expectations that you expect them to meet when you sit and talk to them in a healthy calm manner if you are an uh, anxiously avoidant person I'm gonna go back to my basic. This video, this video right here, talks about mindfulness. I would say practice mindfulness. And in this sense, mindfulness is going to help you to stop avoiding your needs. Because yes, you are an avoidant, strong person, but we all have needs. We all have needs of being seen, acknowledged, we all have emotions, I mean, unless if you are a psychopath. So acknowledging those emotional, psychological, and physical needs, right? And I would say if you are to the extreme, go to therapy and a therapist will help you uh, change some of those behaviors that you have. Otherwise, I would say um, what shows This Is Us is one of the TV shows that I know many, probably four or five therapists who says it's a great way uh, or, or to show that um, models healthy relating, healthy relationships, right? So watch TV shows that shows how people um, interact or are in relations with each other in a healthy way. Get in a relationship with people who give you corrective, positive, corrective ways of being, right? People who express and reflect, as I said to the person before, that one of the things that they can do is tell you how they are experiencing you in a calm manner. But you also will be open to having people, um, people in your life who will say, you know, this is very dismissive or this is cold or whatever. And be open to it. And that's gonna be hard because you, as a person who's avoidant, always think you're right you are also very defensive and it's understandable compassion to yourself and to everybody else that's it for this video thank you for watching please share with one person see you in the next video deuces